Hello, everyone. Okay, so we are so we are live from the library. We're back to in-person programming, um, and we're gonna try out this like live stream in-person combo. So I have that my masks on. Uh, hopefully, you guys can hear me. Uh, let me know if it's like terrible and you can't. But we're just gonna do it. We're gonna do our best. And there's probably gonna be a lot of mistakes tonight. But, we, but that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, because I haven't done in person and live, so I might totally forget about you guys and ignore you. I'm sorry. We're gonna get going though. Okay. I'm gonna shut this. Hello! Oh my goodness. So good seeing you. I know. I'm so excited. We're all fully vaccinated. Is this like a, a loud hug time or no? <laughs> oh no, I can hug well, well, I'm okay with yeah. it. I agree. Um, I think that's like up to you guys. All right, I'm gonna give blocks. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. I'll take. I have one. I have a block. I'm gonna, gonna have a block. I'm gonna be struggling. I know. Um, do you want? You know what, Amina? Let me give you both these ones. Then they're a little bit sturdier, okay. so you can kind of okay. work with Thank those. You. I only have one block. Um, I think. I don't have any, honestly, like, I kind of wasn't really sure what tonight was going to be like because I wasn't sure who was going to come or anything, so I didn't really plan too much of anything because um, I didn't. I think that. honestly, I think any kind of movement we can have is great, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I was excited uh, Me that, too. that you guys, I could see you guys in person. Um. Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay. Alright, and I'm gonna play music so hopefully Facebook doesn't flag me. Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is what it is. We might end up having to do like zooms. Yeah. Um that might be like a better but it's okay. Yeah. Alright, so come to a comfortable seated position you. on your mats. Welcome everyone. Oh, it feels so good to be back. I, I found a thank parking you, spot. Thank you, thank I'm you. so excited that I found a parking spot. And I was like texting Danielle like a week before I said, oh. I know, that was so strange. He you was just like, texted me. I know. I was like, what do, you, do you think we're going to have like in person? Because. Wow. <laughs> I know. I was, I I was ready for it. Okay, I'm just going to get a sip of water. And then we can I projected it. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that we don't have to wear these masks. <laughs> That's the next thing. I think we'll be close to, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be masked through the winter. It's getting worse in uh, in, port, in Europe, um, but what do you mean? Uh, it's uh, they're getting the Delta again. Even though like like the they were, I, I they were saying eighty six percent of Portugal vaccinated. is is vaccinated, uh -huh. but I guess they're just getting sick anyway. Yeah, or the that fourteen percent didn't get vaccinated. Yeah. So a lot of people. Like my sister, my sister is one of those. No, <laughs> I know the little one. No, there is too. Um, brave. Yeah. Is it brave? Is that what we're calling it? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, call, I call it asinine, but. <laughs> but All you know. right. Let's get started. Amina, this first song is for you. Woohoo. Oh. This is the song that you yes. like. All right. Yeah. So to come to a comfortable seated position on your mat. Thank you. Uh, sit on your block if you want. You guys were always so much more flexible than I am, so don't. Shake out those hands. Shake, 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 shake. And then let them fall on your knees. Palms up if you want to call in some energy. Palms down if you have uh, restless energy and you kind of want to quiet down a little bit. I might be hands down. I was rushing. Taking a deep breath in. And exhale it out. Deep breath in. And exhale it out. Now allow yourself to be a little bit fidgety. If you need to, rolling the shoulder blades back, lifting the crown of the head up towards the ceiling, sitting nice and tall in the spine. And just taking some breaths here. And now as always, this does not have to be a deep meditation. Your thoughts can wander, your body can shift. These opening breaths are just to bring us here, to bring us into class together, to bring us onto our mats. So 
So allow your breath to kind of guide you to that place, just to remind you that, you know, you're here, you're in this moment. Inhale, and exhale the breath out. Inhale, and exhale the breath out. Notice if your breath is beginning to deepen a little bit more. Maybe it's not. That's okay too. Notice anything that's pulling your attention a little bit. I have a bit of a runny nose. I should have got tissues. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, Monica's getting tissues for me. <laughs> that's pulling my attention. But in a good way. Monogram tissues. Is that really what it is? No. Oh, I was just like, I didn't even know that existed. All right. And now that I ruined your opening meditation, eyes can blink open. Okay, thank you so much for this. I feel like that's the one thing, right? With the masks, it's like, you don't want to sneeze or anything in them because then you're like breathing it in. Okay, anyway. So eyes can blink gently open. Inhale, reach those arms up. Gaze comes up. Don't worry about the hands meeting. Just reach up. And then exhale, draw your chin to your chest. Bring the arms down. And inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, arms down. And one more time. Inhale, those arms up. And exhale, the arms all the way down. All right, we're going to bring our arms up halfway. Thumbs are up towards the ceiling. Circles forward for one, two, three, four, and five. And reverse the direction for one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Bring your left arm across, right arm underneath. <laughs> Don't do what I'm doing. Do what I say. <laughs> Slide that right arm out a little bit more towards the wrist, just so you can kind of tug in a little bit more. And breathe, roll the shoulder blades back. Try not to let the shoulders like hike up while you're here. Right. Slide your right arm back to your elbow so you're kind of back more center. And then bring that right arm up. And now you guys know, so you can either do option one is the palms to your face. Option two is palms to touch. Yeah, do whatever you're more comfortable with. Now pull the, the hands like away from your face. Elbows are parallel to the ground. And take an inhale and reach those arms up a bit. Beautiful, come back to center. Unloop the hands so you're back to that original starting position. Good, now you're gonna switch your arms out. But before we do the other side, you're gonna take that left hand and tap the top, like right the base of your neck. Good, open it up, take your right hand, Tap the back, lower back. Yeah, so it's an opposite, yeah. And up, left to the base of the neck, and right to the base of the spine. Good, and out. Right arm comes across, left comes up. And slide it out towards the wrist. I know, see so you guys, I'm like messing with your focus. You like, <laughs> don't do yoga and you forget your right from your left. <laughs> totally, I know. <laughs> Slide that hand back towards the elbow and bring your right hand up. It's even worse when you're all crisscrossed because then it like really gets confused, right? You're I like, forget what? to speak in any language. <laughs> <laughs> we were so isolated. I'm <laughs> bringing your hands away from your face, elbows up. That's true, the craziest thing is the kids are so quiet that they've like totally forgotten how to have social interactions. Yeah. Are the kids at school like that? No. Oh, they're not? Oh, the kids at the library, they're so quiet. It's incredible. No. no it's one good thing that came with COVID. They know how to act in the library now. Oh, good. All right, bringing it back down to that original start and then slide the arms out. Okay, so that right hand comes to the base of the neck or your arms burning it. And out, left to the lower back. And out, right to the back of the neck. And out, left to the base of the spine. And out, let that go. Whew. Circles forward in the shoulders. Circles back. I did it the opposite way, but it's fine. All right, one more 
more thing, open those arms out. Palms are up, fingertips to shoulders. And out, fingertips to shoulders. And out, fingertips to shoulders. What are you doing these spirit fingers for over here? I don't know. Circle <laughs> for one, two, three. I liked it. Circle back for one, two, three. Beautiful. I'm coming off of the mat and we're moving into tabletop. Those are good. You didn't do any yoga? I I did. I did in the summer before the, another, the other surgery. Oh, okay. Uh, Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Mm -hmm. Taking an inhale with that chin up, belly button drops. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest. Push the ground away. So push the hands into the mat. Spread the shoulder blades wide. And then take an inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin. And tuck your chin, curl your back. Beautiful. Coming uh, to neutral spine, move your fingertips out towards the wide edges of the mat. And now just kind of move side to side here. Ow. Did you say ow? Yeah. <laughs> it hurts everywhere. <laughs> and back to neutral spine. Now you can stay here, but if you want to flip your fingers towards your knees, see how that feels? That might not be possible tonight, that's okay. Take an inhale here, lift the chin, drop the belly. Exhale, curl the chin, push the mat away. Inhale, lift the chin. And exhale, curl, push the mat away. Coming to a flat back. Walk your knees in a little bit closer to your fingertips and lower down just a bit. You can feel it. I think if you move the knees closer, it's easier. Yeah, so if that feels a little rough, go ahead and like baby step your knees back in a little bit. All right, come off of that. Move your left fingertips towards the top of the mat. Bring your palm of your right hand up. Fingertips are still back towards your knees. And kind of the same thing here. You can move back into it a little bit. But instead of doing both of them at the same time, we're just going to do one at a time. And flip. So right hand down, left palm up, and back. And back to neutral. Bring your knees back a little bit further than your hips. Tuck your toes under and sink your seat back. Walk those fingertips forward. Cupcake the fingertips. Stay high on the elbows. Drop the chest in between the arms. And your entire spine crack. Or at least mine does. Beautiful. Plant the hands down onto the mat. Lift yourself up a little bit. Knees come up, down dog. First down dog, go slow, bend the knees, pedal out the knees if you like. Move slow here, be gentle. Bring your feet max distance apart, sway the hips a little bit. Nice, all right, coming back to neutral. So that's that middle position, feet back together. Come up on tippy toes and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Sink your heels back. Lift your heels one more time for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the heels. And then baby step your feet to the top of the mat. Bend your knees when you need to. Lift your hands when you need to. Look at you too. <laughs> nice. Hang in your forward fold. And because we finally have blocks and we haven't done this in a year, grab your block. Get ready to do your hang. All right, first hang on the highest. Should we do five minutes? Let's just do like three. Okay, full minute starts now. I haven't done this in so long because no one had blocks, so I couldn't like 
I felt like a jerk suggesting people do it if they didn't have blocks. Also, it was really awkward holding things without you guys to talk to. Right. <laughs> so like I never wanted to do one of those slow classes because it was so weird just yeah. sitting in silence. I asked my sister once, I was like, is it really, like, is it as awkward for you, like, watching it? And she's like, no, it's fine. And I was like, oh, it's the worst. Like, it's literally, like, just, like, the worst thing to be home in silence. Especially because we were always a very talkative group. Yeah, we were always, I always, like, felt like I had to talk as we were holding stuff, and I was like, I'm just talking to myself for this hour class. All right, next minute, move it. And moaned, and then went off top. <laughs> Speaking of which, have you guys watched Dune? Uh, is, oh, is that on um, HBO? HBO, yes, I did. I did yesterday. Did you like it? Yes, yes. That kid is really Timothy cool. Chalamet, he's so good, isn't he? <laughs> he's, you know, he's French and American. He, he's bilingual, French and English. Is it? Yeah. He's good. He's his, like, the scene where he, like, had his hand in that box. I know. I feel like it's, like, Academy-worthy, yeah. to be honest. It was so good. I know. Like, he was crying. It was so good. <laughs> what, is it, what, what is it about? I'm sorry, I didn't It's it. like... A sci-fi movie. It's oh, like an epic. It's kind of like, it's kind of, it's not anything like it, but it's like the concept of Star Wars. Like, it's yeah. like this long book series. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh. What's That's the like name a, of it? Dune. Dune. So the first movie is just kind of setting it all up. All right, lower it down one more time. Last minute. I'm actually gonna put my toes up if you want to do your toes up. You don't have to. I'm just. I need to get into the backs of the legs a little bit more. It's really good though. I liked it a lot. Everything hurts, is that what you said? Yeah. Wait until tomorrow. Yeah. It's tight. Just kidding. We're gonna loosen up tonight. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be you shouldn't feel too much tomorrow. Except better. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you should feel. Just fifteen more seconds. After this you're gonna feel better. Miss this. All right, and blocks away. Hang in your forward fold. Bend the knees. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Hands come to prayer and heart center. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Exhale, forward fold. Bring the prayer through the heart all the way down to the ground. Inhale, take a halfway look up. Exhale, forward fold. Straighten the legs. Look back at the shins. Bend the knees, inhale the arms, come around and up. Yeah, it's time to prayer. We're going to do that two more times just to sink our breath with the movement. Inhale the arms, come around and up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway look up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, inhale the arms, come around and up. And yeah, it's time to prayer. Last time. Inhale the arms, come around and up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, halfway look up. Exhale, forward fold. Step your right foot back. So you're coming into that low lunge. So the front foot is totally down on the mat. Back heel is lifted. Hands are like alongside the foot, framing the foot. Yeah, good. Lower the back knee down and lift. Lower the back knee down and lift. Lower the back knee down. Grab your block, bring it to the inside of your left foot. Lift that back knee back up. Reach your left arm, twist open. Good. Take a breath here, inhale. Exhale, bring that left hand down inside the left foot, back onto the block. Reach the right arm up. And down, very good. Bring that back knee down to the mat. I did it wrong because I forgot what the right hand 
left. <laughs> we did both of them, so it's fine. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Okay, bring your hands to prayer. What we're going to do is rocking Anjanasana. So this is our Anjanasana. Okay, so working balance here. So the objective is to pull your core in because it's going to be awkward and wonky. Now, if you have a strap and you want to reach for your strap, it makes it a little bit easier. If you don't have a strap, it's not that big of a deal. But we're going to grab the straps just so you can see. You literally do the same exact motion just without straps if you don't have a strap. All right. So inhale, the arms come up. Exhale, lean back. Bring the arms forward. Good. And come up, pull through. And back. And one more time. Up, pull through. And just get straight. Put your strap away. Come back into tabletop. Beautiful. Reach that right arm all the way up, twist it open. And then exhale, send it through underneath the left. Yep, threading the needle. Nice. Press into that left palm, into the mat. Lift the left elbow up towards the ceiling. Twist open here. And if you'd like to go for the bind, reach that left arm up towards the ceiling. Turn the palm. And then reach for that right hip crease. Lift that left shoulder, twist open. And then return the hand back to the mat. Press into that hand to bring your right hand all the way back to center. Tuck the toes under. Lean back into the heels. Lift the knees down dog. Baby step those feet all the way back up to the top of the mat. Hanging forward fold. Need a breath here. Bend the knees, inhale, the arms come all the way around and up. Hands to prayer. Ready for the other side? Yes. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway look up. Exhale, forward fold. Step the left leg back. Left, Monica. <laughs> left leg goes back. Front foot is planted onto the mat. Both sets of toes are pointing towards the top of the mat. Hands come down to frame the front, the front foot. Yeah. Lower the back knee down and straighten. Lower the back knee down and straighten. Lower the back knee down and straighten. Uh, did we twist? We twisted before we did our blocking things, right? All right, grab your block and bring it to the inside of the right foot. Left hand comes down, right arm twists all the way open. And right hand comes down. Right hand comes to the block inside the right leg. Left arm twists up. Sorry, I was reading the cross schedule on the board behind me. <laughs> and I got distracted. And down. Move the block out of the way. Right knee comes down. Grab your strap. Don't need a strap to do this exercise. Alright, if you do have one, I think I need to bring my thicker mat next week. This is like hard to do on this part. Two years, man, has yeah. aged me. <laughs> <laughs> Reach those arms up, lean forward here in your Anjanasana, and then bring the arms forward. Peel those toes up. And forward to Anjanasana. And back. I know, it's a crazy balance thing, right? Like, who would have thought that? Try without the straps. It's really hard. Actually, just so that we can show solidarity with the people at home. Just one without the strap. All right, ready? Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, come forward. It's hard, right? And all the way back up. I know, it's weird, right? The strap kind of balances you out. Okay, hands come back to the mat. Slide your right foot back. Lift that left arm all the way up towards the ceiling and then slide it through, threading the needle on the left side. Left ear comes down to the mat. 
Right hands plant into the mat, right elbows up towards the ceiling. Twist first, and then if you'd like to go for the bind, reach that right arm up, flip the palm, reach for the left hip crease. Open up the chest here, inhale, and exhale. Reaching the right arm back up towards the ceiling, right hand down, left arm slides through. Wait, so you can always come on me. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess, yeah, even, even if, uh, Yay, because remember at first you couldn't? I know, I know. Oh, how about good timing? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, sorry, it just, like, occurred to me when I was going, I, I was like, wait a minute, she said four? That's awesome! Okay. Yeah. Hey! Okay, tuck the toes under, down, up. Coming up onto your tippy toes, holding for five, four, three, two, one, lower it down. And one more time, lift up on those tippy toes for five, four, three, two, one. Stay high on your tippy toes, pull yourself forward to plank. And hold for five, four, push the ground away. Three, two, one. Knees come down, lower onto your belly. Coming into patty cakes to wake up our arms. Bring your arms forward. Up onto those fingertips. So cupcaking the fingertips. I need to take a breath. Hold on. Okay. Right arm up and lower. Left arm up and lower. Right arm up and lower. Left arm up and lower. Did we do these before? Yes. We did? Yes, we did. <laughs> She's like, I remember. Right leg up. Oh my god. And lower. <laughs> left leg up. And lower. Right leg up. And lower. Left leg up. And lower. Both arms up. And lower. Both arms up. Oh. And lower. Both legs up. You can leave your arms down a minute. You're making it harder. Oh. And down. <laughs> both legs up. And down. Let it go. <laughs> oh. Oh. Move out your hips a little bit. You like Slide your elbows underneath your shoulders. What'd you say? You need an oxygen uh, um, uh, element. You need to wear one of these. These are easier for you. Yeah. No, these are similar. Yeah. yeah. All right. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Tuck your toes under and peel your heels back. Like you're trying to pull your mm -hmm. heels back. And then try to pull your chest forward. So you're like moving in two different directions. So you're getting all in the back here. Nice. Release the feet. Press into the hands. Take the right arm. Slide it underneath the left. Left underneath the right. You guys know this one. We did this one all the time. I haven't done this one in ages. The one I can't do because of my boobage situation. <laughs> you can't because why? <laughs> my boobage Where's situation. <laughs> um, that's not true. You used to get your head down onto the mat. So don't even. <laughs> Don't you dare, because I used to look over at you and be like, how the heck is her head down on the mat? I mean, it's you looking. No, it's my head. <laughs> you guys always made me so jealous. You both were able to do this, and I was like, oh, look at me. I'm a foot above the ground. All right, slide that left arm through, right arm back through. Grip the mat with your fingertips, tuck your toes under, same thing. So pull your chest forward, pull your heels back. So you're going in opposite directions. And press into the mat, lift up. Uh, what do we do here? Left arm, right? Left to right, right? Mm -hmm. Left underneath, left to the right side of the mat. Right mm -hmm. is in front, across the body, towards the right side of the mat.
left arm comes out, lower to your belly, bring your hands to your chest, lift the hands, baby cobra, and down, plant the hands, full cobra, and down, slide the hands off the mat, cupcake the fingertips, elbows up towards the ceiling, the gecko cobra, forgot the word of this, her mat. And lower down, slide your hands forward again, patty cakes one more time. Right arm up and down, left arm up, right arm, left arm, right arm, pull in, forward, down, left arm, pull in, forward, down, left arm up, right arm up, pull in, forward, down, right arm up. Left hand can come down for a sec. <laughs> and then left comes up, in, forward, down, everything down. <sighs> All right. Bring your hands back by your chest, your toes under, come to sit on your heels. All right, moving into just our fairy dogs. We haven't done those in forever, because I didn't teach it while we were at home, because I was always really nervous. Sorry, I have like tender hips in that arm, so if you see me, Trying to crack oh. it. Yeah, you don't actually have to copy that. Uh, if you, I mean, go ahead if you want to, but that's what's happening here. Um, all right, fairy dogs. Do you guys remember them? I'll go through them one more time. All right, you guys already at home? Follow the directions. Be safe. Do what you feel comfortable doing. If you want to set this out, you set this out. All right, so our fairy dogs are little leaps baby leaps to teach us to start to feel like getting our hips over our shoulders, right? So you're not kicking up to get into a handstand, you're just starting to practice that feeling of lift, right? That like moving everything in the momentum to get your feet up, okay? So hands come down, the elbow creases are turned out. So we bring our hands forward, we flip our hands down so that the inside is up, and then we bring our hands back. Elbow creases out. Now, if you have um, tight external rotation where you can't get your elbow creases all the way up, you can move your thumbs parallel to each other a little bit. You want to work on bringing the hands forward. You don't want to stay there permanently, but in the beginning, if that's a little bit more comfortable, you can kind of start to do that. And then just over time, inch your hands in closer. Okay, so wrists are underneath the, the shoulders, and then you come into your down dog. You guys can just sit and watch for this first one if you want. Walk your feet in as close as you can. Now, this is going to depend on your hamstring flexibility. You don't have to get super in in order to do this, but it works. It, it's a little bit easier when you can start to get your wrists over your shoulders, right? That's just the, that's just the physics of going upside down if you want everything stacked. So, as your hamstring flexibility gets better and you can walk your feet closer in, it just helps you because you don't even have to try as hard to kick up. Mm -hmm. When you're further back, you're going against, like you have all of that to lift, but if you're here, you can just go, does that mm -hmm. make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you walk those feet in, you start to get the wrists over the shoulders, you reach the right foot up, right foot in, inhale, exhale, baby hop. You're reaching this right toe up towards the ceiling, and you're hopping. Baby hops. Okay. <laughs> Amina, I'm looking at you. Do not come flying and catapulting yourself over. All right, you guys ready? Hands down. Tuck the toes under. Walk those feet in. Look at the space between your thumbs and keep your gaze there. You don't need to look at your feet. Nothing's happening at your feet. Reach your right leg up, bring your right knee in towards your chest, take an inhale, exhale, shoot it up, bring it in, good. Good, bring that right leg up, bend it in, bring it into your chest, I'm gonna bring, it, bring it all the way, yeah. And then take an inhale, exhale, shoot the right leg up, yeah. And take one more on your own. Good, and all the way down. Child's pose, bring your knees down. Mat system slice wide, and lower down. How'd that feel? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't felt that in a long time. 
Was it scary? Yeah. You both were really hesitant. I had my my mouth I Did I it hurt? Yeah. I mean, were you okay? Uh, I ha I have this discomfort. Mm. So I have to live with it. Is it like? Is it good to work it, or are you gonna hurt yourself if you work it? No, I I. That's why I'm doing the physical therapy. Okay, so it is okay if you yes. work it work through that. Yeah. Okay. Monica, how do you feel? Oh, good. 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 I just didn't want to like uh, make the camera tremble. <laughs> Oh, that's good. All right, other side. Ready? Sound dog. And check that your elbow creases are turned out. Walk your feet in. Gaze at the spot between your thumbs. Left leg comes up. Pull that left knee in. Take an inhale. Exhale. Shoot the left toes up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale. And one more time, inhale, exhale, and all the way down, child pose. Thanks. And that's it for today, just baby stepping back into our inversions. Baby stepping into everything this class. All right, tuck your toes under. You need water? Lift the knees up, down dog. Baby, step your feet all the way in. Come to the top of the mat and hang. Bend the knees slightly, hands come to opposite elbows and sway side to side. And release the arms, inhale around and up to stand. Hands come to prayer. All right, inhale those arms around and up. Exhale the hands to prayer. Take your left foot. Step your left foot back, coming into a high lunge. Okay, so both toes are facing the top of the mat. Back heel is lifted up. Bend in the front knee. All right, now hands can come at prayer if that helps you to be a little bit more balanced, or hands can come to your hips, whatever is easier for this next thing. You'll find out. All right, draw the core in. Lift the front knee up and then lift the toe up. Foot down, back into your bed. Nice, I thought I was gonna throw you guys on that one. Straight in, lift. And down. One more time, straight and lift. And down, oh, I almost lost it. Lower the back knee down. Hands come to prayer. Twist towards that left leg. Bring your left elbow to the outside of that right thigh. Press the palms together, bringing the hands to like the heart to help you push the chest open. Now stay here if you're comfortable. If you'd like to try to balance, lift the back knee up. But we don't have to do that today if we're not into it. And untuck. Bring the hands inside that leg, and then just send your back knee back a little bit, coming into our lizard. Yeah, there you go. I'm just kind of moving here. Tuck the back toes under if you'd like to lift the back knee up, get a little bit deeper into the thigh stretch, but like whatever feels good. Not really forcing too much of anything tonight. Just moving through some poses, seeing how we feel. Lowering the back knee down, lift the back foot up, reach your right arm back for that back foot. If you need a little bit more space, just grab that block and push yourself up. Give yourself a little bit more room there. I actually like the block more. I feel like they get deeper into my thigh. And lower the back foot down. Right? I feel like it gets deeper into it. Slide your foot back. Down up. And walk your feet up this time. Try to see if you can like heel toe your feet as you walk up. All the way up to your hands. 
Bend your knees when you need to, lift the hands when you need to, and hang in your forward fold. Take your hands, bring them underneath your feet. Palms facing up, fingers towards the heels. Press the toes down into the palms to get into the upper back. Get a little bit of a shoulder stretch there, and also make it into the backs of the legs. And release. Bend the knees, inhale, the arms come round and up. Hands come to front. Other side, you ready? <laughs> you got a huge smile on your face. <laughs> inhale, the arms, I'm assuming, I see it in yes. your eyes. <laughs> Hands come down. All right, right foot steps back. So now it's kind of the same thing. So see where you feel better with your hands. I always feel like I get like a little bit better centered when I'm here or when I'm here. It's usually my two places. All right, now when you do this, you're drawing the belly button in, but I also want you to think of like scissoring your thighs together. It helps you to balance a little bit better. So when we come up, whoop, I can't even do it on the side. Straighten and lift the toes and down. We're just trying, we're just trying. That's all we're doing. Do you guys see how bad I was on this one? Woo! All right, straighten and lift and down. And last time, straighten and lift and down. Lower the back knee down. Hands come to prayer, twist towards the left. Tuck that right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Push the hands together. And if you did the balance on the other side, take the balance on this side. And untwist. Bring your hands to the inside of that left leg. Slide your right knee back a little bit further. Get a little deep in there. I like to start down just to kind of get into the thigh a little bit. And then I tuck my back toes under and lift up. But it's kind of like whatever feels. But Drop your hips, so you're working your hips down towards the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Bring your knee down and untuck your toe. Yeah, how's that feel? <laughs> if you have a block, you want to bring it in, go ahead and grab the block, bring your right hand to the block, and then pick up the back foot, left arm, yeah, reaches back for the foot. I think you're twisting the other way. Okay. Oh. Yes. You get a crib? Water. You gotta drink water. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We're having some directional issues tonight. <laughs> Alright, and lower it down. Just take a breath there. Yeah, grab it just for one breath. Inhale. And exhale, go ahead and lower it down. Yeah. All right, hands come down to the mat. Bringing both knees in. Sit in on your heels or toes tucked under, which is whatever is a little bit more comfortable. Moving through our camels. How's that sound? Camels thing? <laughs> I'm gonna try that. We'll do some camels. And with a wheel. Okay. And that's it. How's that? Mm -hmm. Trying to do like a little bit of everything so we can kind of see what, you know. The body still we remember. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, it's like, you're going to do thinking. more. <laughs> All right. So take your hands. Uh, knees are two fist distances apart. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And um, how should we start? Okay. So we're going to start with our left hand to lower back. So left hand to lower back. Take your right arm, sweep it forward, and then lift up and around, and then just try to square your shoulders here. Be super gentle, not going super deep into it. Lower down. Good. Right hand to lower back on the right side. Left arm sweeps forward and back. Use that hand to help stabilize the lower back. Square your shoulders, and back down. Stay there if you'd like, or if you want to move up, tuck your toes under. I can do that. Don't, 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 don't. Stay where you need to stay. Um, but this time, if you want, instead of, so you can keep your toes untucked, but reach for the heel instead of the lower back. Just 
bring your hand down to your back. So we're going a little bit deeper. So you can bring your hand either to the heel or you can keep it on that lower back, whichever you're more comfortable with. Left hand to heel or lower back. Right arm sweeps up and over. Square your hips. And lower down. Right hand comes to the right foot. Left arm comes forward. Sweep, push your hips forward, square your chest. And down. Okay, last set. It's kind of the same thing. You can choose any variation you want to do. This time we're just going to move that arm all the way fully to the other foot. So we're going to be in a full cowbell. But you don't have to do that. So you can stay at any one of the levels that we just did. It's the same thing. You're still getting the stretch. It's just, you know, going one step deeper. All right, so right hand to right, or left hand to left heel. Right arm sweeps up and over. Move the hips forward, square your chest. And then once you're squared, keep moving that right hand down until it reaches the right ankle. Lift the chin up towards the ceiling. Push the hips forward, inhale. And then exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, lower the hips down. Nice. One more side. How'd that feel? Good. I mean, you guys didn't like make any horrible sounds. <laughs> I guess it's okay. How was it for you guys at home? I mean, you can comment. You can't say anything because I can't hear it. But you can comment. All right, right hand to right ankle. And then the left arm sweeps up and around. Square the shoulders first, push the hips forward, and then move the left arm down to the left foot. Chin comes up, keep moving forward, and then tuck the chin to the chest, lower all the way down. Knees are mat distance apart, lower it down into your child's pose. All right, bring the hands in. Uh, you can bring your knees in and set them back a little bit. We're coming into down dog. So however you want to get there, tuck the toes under, lift the knees, down dog. And then we're coming into our pigeons. So right leg all the way up and high. And then bend the right knee, bring it back behind the right wrist. And lower down into your pigeon. Nice. If you're noticing that you're a little bit higher up than you usually are, go ahead and grab that block and just stick underneath. Just give yourself a little bit of cushion. It's been a while. Yeah. All right, bringing your hands to your hips. See if you can lift up. Square yourself a little bit more and then lower it down. yourself back up. Okay, get your strap. Now for you at home, you don't have to do this next thing, or you can grab leggings or something and use them as a strap. But we're just moving into our mermaid pose, so the strap just makes it a little bit more accessible. So you're going to bring that back foot up and reach for it with your right hand. Now you might not need the strap. You might grab it and that might be fine. But if you do want to use your strap, just kind of tuck it around the foot. Bring it in. No, that's it. Just drawing it in, getting the thigh stretch. No balance, nothing too hard. We're just working that thigh a little bit. I'm the only one with the strap. That is a cute name, mermaid pose. What happened? Mermaid pose. It's a cute name. It's this one? Yeah. Yeah, mermaid pose. I don't really know what the name is. I think it like became mermaid because everyone. Uh, it might be mermaid. It might be mermaid. I don't. I don't know. Like the Sanskrit doesn't exactly uh, okay. translate to. There's like the Sanskrit versions of poses, and then there's like the westernized, uh, yeah. bastardized version mm -hmm. of the names of things. All right, and then bringing that left foot down. 
sliding it forward, taking your right ankle to the left knee, and moving into your seated pigeon. So same exact position, or same exact pose, but from a different position, which gets a different stretch. Right? So doesn't it feel like it's like a totally different stretch? Yeah. But your front knee is doing the same thing. Interesting, she says. <laughs> Interesting. All right, now, shoelace pose, getting into the hips. So you have two options. Option one is to slide that left foot out and then just bring your right knee on top of the knee. Right? And you can kind of just move forward, leaning into that knee. That's your option one. Option two is to take that, what is this, my left leg, slide it to the right, and then be on both those knees. Now, if this is, if you're somewhere in between, which is quite possible, you can do this pose, but keep your front foot up. That's a possibility too. So if you're not quite, if you're in that first shoelace and you're like, that's not intense enough, but this is too intense, that's kind of your middle ground. You can lean into it. Did you guys think you'd be able to get into this? Silence. <laughs> definitely a like, um, you know, as lower as we used to be two yeah. years ago, no. right? Yeah. I don't know, you guys look good. You look like a little, you know what, honestly, you're like moving a little bit slower, yeah. but you're still doing everything. Like it's still, you didn't lose everything. You didn't lose anything. We did online when you were giving the glasses online a lot of times. Yeah, not, a couple of times. I, I yeah, know. not all yeah. the time, but we used to comment. Yeah, I yeah. know. Yeah. In the beginning, and then they bailed on me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, move forward. Untuck this. It was hard. It was hard to maintain it. No, I was called to the office, and the office is like. They're all still there though, so if you guys ever want like a practice during the week, it's all on yeah, the yeah, yeah. two uh -huh. years worth is on the Facebook page. So you guys have like a free library of two yes. years worth of classes. Alright, take your toes under, lift those legs up, down dog, left leg comes all the way up and high, bend the left leg, bring it through, lower down. So you did watch June? You know what I started watching? Twin Peaks. Did you guys ever watch Twin Peaks? I watched like, one of the series. Yes. Yeah. Did yeah, you watch it? We, did, just, yeah. we just yeah, started yeah, yeah. watching it from the second episode. Don't ruin anything for me. It's very remember, weird. It's, it's super very, I was weird. I say, yeah. I used to watch it back yeah. home. <laughs> yeah. Hands at your hips, lift all the way up, and lower down. It's like strange. Like, I can't really... I'm not totally sure if it's like... The style is really weird. Yeah. If, if you like that, but a little better, uh, on Netflix they have this, uh, it's a season to, also. It's called Behind Her, Her Eyes. And it's based on a book also. Oh, okay. So that's, um, uh, I'm just gonna say it's like interesting. So, okay. yeah, 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 because I don't want to give anything away. I don't it's know British. if I like this. I can't it's think of, British, oh, I love um, BBC's. So I think you would, I, I really liked it, and it's like something you would never expect. It's mind-blowing. So okay. like I definitely like would recommend. And it's like a, a weekend, because it's a series, but it's like you get so engrossed. You get super into it? Okay, I'm going to have to suggest yeah. that. Because like Twin Peaks right now, we're like... It's I just super confusing. Like I can't figure it out, but yeah. I kind of like it. I like it's I like that really I, yeah. weird. I, like I know that weird. I watched it a lot, but it was like odd. It's super odd. None of yeah. it makes sense. Yes. Like nothing makes sense. Exactly. They're yeah. all in relationships with each other. The high yeah, schoolers yeah, act yeah, like yeah, they're yeah. like thirty year olds. Yes. It's yes. so weird. Yeah, that's what I weird. remember, but yeah, it was And all the way, but I feel like it's the style. Like I feel like it's intentional. Maybe yeah. Bring the back foot up and draw it in. time where they came out with that Blair Witch project. Oh, it was around the same time? Oh, uh, yeah. 
So like I guess like the 80s and 90s people were into weird stuff. It was super weird stuff. And I just remember what, going to the movies and oh, I, I was so nauseous because that was like... Oh, the camera was all the way around. <laughs> now we're used to it, right? Now it's just like GoPros all the time. <laughs> Can lower onto your left hip and slide your right foot forward. Uh, left ankle to right knee and then slide it up. Yeah, I mean, I, we, I like it. I don't know, I feel like every now and then there's shows that like the ending is gonna matter. Oh, yes. You know what I mean? Like I'm like withholding my judgment until I see how it ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if it has a good end, like even if it's weird and confusing, but it has a good end, this, then, I'll, then I'll be down. But th This one that I'm telling you, it's first it's British, it's like, it's very, it's beautiful to watch and mm -hmm. it's like, you know, it's very interesting. And that right foot down for shoelace, taking any option you want, either bringing the feet together or the knees together, I'm sorry, not the feet, or taking that right foot and sliding it around. Ooh, I lean too far back. Bringing the knees together and lowering down. And people at home, you can also make your comments about Twin Peaks. <laughs> yes, or give us any suggestions on new shows. Or Dune, or uh, what else were you talking about? What's the behind the her eyes, eyes? Behind her eyes on Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> That's also an option. Alright. Oh, you guys get out of wheel because we're already running late. So we're gonna we're gonna move it down. I know we started a little bit late, so if you are ready to bail on class, I totally understand. But we're just gonna do our cool down and then our spasana. So join us if you'd like. But we started a little bit late, so I totally understand if you want to go later. You guys are stuck though. <laughs> okay, bring those feet down and step the feet down. Lower all the way down onto your back. And windshield wiper those hips side to side. And now you guys, I did bring lavender, but I won't touch you if you don't, if you're like COVID worried. So you guys just tell me what you prefer. You can touch I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Does I'm good mean yes, Amina? Yes. Okay. <laughs> like, I love that. Uh, does I'm good mean no? Or? Uh, okay. I'm good, yes. <laughs> all right. Now hug your knees into your chest. And the arms don't have to be all the way around the shins. You can just bring your hands to your knees and just move side to side here. Same motion that you were just doing on the ground, but bringing it a little bit more into the lower back this time. Good. Taking your knees and drawing them in opposite circle directions. Does that make sense? No, you guys aren't doing it. No. <laughs> so you're going to take your knees. Oh. And it's like what you do with your shoulders. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know how to say that. Well, how would I, how would I describe that? And then reverse the direction. I don't know. I don't know how to describe that one. Do circle, circle your, your hips. <laughs> I said that, and you just didn't move. That's literally what I said. All right. So this is the feet up towards the ceiling, grabbing up outside of the feet, or you can grab the ankles, or you can grab behind the thighs. You guys literally gave the exact thing that I said. <laughs> Gently tug down on those knees. Good. Slide the feet together and then lower the feet down to the mat. So soles of the feet are together on the mat. You're kind of in that, that uh, Baddha Konasana, that diamond shape with your legs, but recline. Yeah. Now bring your hands to the tops of your thighs and just push the thighs down. I know it doesn't feel like much, but just reach the crown of the head up like you're really trying to just lengthen the entire spine. So you're pushing the hips away from the spine, reaching the crown of the head away from the spine. And then slide the legs out along the mat and give yourself a little shimmy and shake here. Any final movement that you might need in your body. No, we're not doing anything. We're just moving into Svasana. Okay. All right. Take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale it out. Deep breath in through the nose and exhale it out. 
bringing your hands to any final pose that's comfortable to you. So if your hands are out at your sides, or if you want to bring your hands to your belly, either or. And just allow yourself to sink into the mat. So each inhale and exhale relaxes the body deeper, allowing the body to be heavy. Taking these last few moments of class for yourself, for your breath. 